everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT. In today's class, we are going to learn about Arduino syntax and program flow. Okay, so let's see first what is the syntax. So syntax in an Arduino signifies the rules need to be followed for the successful uploading of the Arduino program to the board. Okay, so there are some set of rules and regulations in order to program a particular Arduino with respect to the instructions. Okay, so a syntax is of an Arduino is somewhat similar to a grammar in English. Suppose if the grammar in the English is wrong, okay, the pronunciation or while we are reading the English text, okay, so the words and the sentences goes wrong, right? Similarly, while programming the Arduino also or programming the Arduino programming language or the C programming, the syntax also, it's a kind of grammar such that there should not be any kind of spelling mistakes or grammar mistakes, okay? So, it means that the rules must be followed in order to compile and run our code successfully, okay? So, if we break those rules, okay, what will happen? There show some sort of errors, okay? Or bugs, okay? Or some uh, warnings kind of thing. So, whenever you write that particular uh, program with some syntax, or in a proper grammar. So our once the computer program will be compiled, okay, it should not have any kind of bugs, warnings, or errors such that it will show zero errors and zero warnings, okay? So as we have already seen in the previous sessions also, the two functions that encapsulates the pieces of code in the Arduino programming are void setup as well as void loop, okay? These are the two things which are very much mandatory for the programming of Arduino, okay? So, let's once again see deeply what are these functions meant for. So, the functions in an Arduino combine many pieces of lines of code into one, okay? So, there are uh, many uh, lines of instructions which are combined together to call it as a program or a code, okay? So, this function usually returns a value after finishing execution. But here, if we place a word called void before any kind of function, it does not return any kind of value, okay? Similarly, the setup and the void, uh, the setup and the loop function will be having void keyword, okay? So present in front of their function name such that it does not return any kind of values, okay? So these multiple lines of code that a function encapsulate or that particular function includes will be written inside a curly braces, okay? So this is what the curly braces look like. You might have already known this, okay? So every closing curly braces and every opening curly braces should be included in the code, okay? And uses of parentheses. If you see the functions carefully, after void setup and after void loop, there are parentheses, okay? So, the, the these parentheses inputs to the functions that are enclosed within the parentheses, okay? And it is also used to change the order of operations in the mathematical uh, aspects, okay? So, if you see the semicolon, semicolon also is used in the code. It is the statement terminator. Uh, it can be in C programming or C++ programming, okay? So, with respect to this particular Arduino programming, uh, which is almost C, okay? Uh, uh, semicolon is also applicable for this. Now, coming to the program flow, okay? So, this is very much almost similar to a flow charts, okay? So, it represents the execution of program in order, okay? So, what are the flowchart? Flowchart uses shapes and arrows to represent the information sequence of actions, okay? So, there are so many shapes in the sizes and representation of the boxes or in the form of oval shapes, okay? A rhombus shape or rectangular shape, right? Okay? So, each and every uh, shape of the particular sequence will be explaining something. So, this particular Arduino coding is also will be having a form of flowchart process, which is shown like this. See, if you see here, there are two things as we have already seen. So one is setup, void setup, which acts as an entry point. Another one is the loop, which whatever the instructions or the code or the logic present in the loop, it keeps on runs over and over again and then again, either for a particular point of time, according to the code given, 
or for an infinite time. So this is how it looks. Start, set up, and the loop keeps on repeating up to a particular number of times if you have already given in the code or it loops for the infinite times, okay? So this is the basic structure. So in the Arduino programming also, it starts and one according to the setup we have given, it uh, initializes and declares. And according to the loop of instruction we have, it keeps on repeating such that the logic keeps on working for multiple times. Okay, this is how the program pro will be. Thank mm -hmm. you.